Okay, Libra. Ooh, I feel like you want peace and love. Let's see. What's going on? Okay. That came up before. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, someone has kids and they're so cute. Okay. All right. Okay. So here is, I feel like this is an overall theme, Libra. Okay. Love. Okay. And you have opportunity, a new opportunity in love. Okay. And you want, you want to transform self through uh, your loving expression. Okay. It's beautiful. Okay. Wow, that's interesting because yesterday I was watching this video on YouTube about a cat surfing on a surfboard with some people. I think it was Hawaii. Wow. Okay, but notice how these little look, they look like little eyes here everywhere. Hmm. Okay, so looking from different points of perception, Libra. Okay, that came up in another reading. What to do, what to do, right? Okay, so uh, my suggestion was to meditate and figure out what you really want because it was sending mixed signals. Okay. Okay, so you don't want to send mixed signals. You want to be clear. So be firm in whatever decision you make. Now, Let's move to over to here. Deep, quiet meditation and stillness is the key here for that. Create the time and the space for you to do that. Right. So. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Okay, see, they're showing me this as like children, right? If you have children and you need time. What you can do is, okay, so with through music, okay, so, so find some kind of, let the kids find some kind of fun music, right? to meditate with that they like and then make it a family meditation moment now I feel like there's going to be lots of giggling and fun and stuff like that but I feel like that might be the way if you don't have anyone to watch your children to do the meditation uh, that might be a way to do it is put on some nice um, music let the kids pick it and then uh, and then meditate together. Okay. But having enough space, right? Like you could have your corner way in the corner and then, you know, and then they could be together or do it in a circle. Ooh, that could be fun. And you can get real creative with that, right? Okay. So I feel like that's important. And look, and that's like staying in that violet ray, right? Returning to love and staying there. Okay, because I feel like you've done that. You've returned to love in yourself, and you want to stay there. I think that's really important here. Yeah, see, straddling worlds. So, what's, okay, hold on.
Okay, so, um, you know what's up ahead, and it's very beautiful, and you want to keep reaching for it, and you felt like whatever fire energy that you got into, and in your it could have been your own temperament or the other person's temperament, and it was kind of like a, perhaps a battle of the wills, right? Okay, so... Um, but I felt like due to your deep compassion and love, you wanted to keep trying in the past, but I feel like, um, I feel like you wanted to create some sort of healthy boundaries between your partnership and, and was finding it to be uh, unsuccessful because of um, how that person communicates. Okay. So, and it could have been just as simple as how they grew up talking and communicating. So it's like you know, it's like we have school for all kinds of things, but that may have not been a thing there. Okay, so. All right. The thing I want to suggest here is maintain love for this person. You can still create those healthy boundaries within a relationship dynamic. Whether you're, um, are you, what is this? Is that marriage? Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so some of you are uh, on the outskirts. Okay, so you're not sure what to do. Okay. This is cute though, look. Some of you all were watching Encanto with your kids. <laughs> Water, uh, water uh, energy is here, so water energy and watching Encanto. This is what I got. There's a lot of wisdom in that movie, too, right? It's like following your own inner guidance, not listening to what other people are saying on the outside or taking that into consideration, but then letting your energy be the dominant energy and decide how you really want to move in this in your realm earth realm okay so but it, that takes deep diving okay and focus all right so what is this okay breathing is another way working on breath yoga okay and Oh, okay, so if you have kids, doing yoga with kids, okay, so then that can give you time, too. If you don't have a place where you can kind of just do your own meditation, then you can uh, tr teach that practice, okay, body, mind, and spirit to your children, okay, and then that would repair and help you to forgive whether you're in this relationship with this person or not now. Uh, and that will help repair it, it's especially if you have a child or children with this person. You want to, no matter what you decide to do in the future, you want to repair that, align that within your own energy and find forgiveness for self and others. Okay, so that person, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. You felt like that person challenged your integrity, perhaps. That's what I'm picking up here. I'm getting like, I think it's like 10 pals they're showing me here. Okay, so 
Um, so uh, challenge your um, integrity. So that's about like, what is that status? How things look on the outside. Okay, so you gotta watch out for that. What's more important? Your love, your happiness, your family, your unity, or is how you're being perceived from the outside world more important to you? Okay, I feel like that's important. There's some sort of hidden element here too. So, and I don't feel like it's anything that you're deliberately, I, it just requires for you to go in deeper, dive deeper into your emotions and figure out so you're not sending mixed signals. So you know, make a choice. Am I gonna stay here in this marriage or am I gonna go? Okay, am I gonna repair forgive and repair this connection and oh yeah there was a and having an opening uh what was that okay so in another reading there was not seeing that person in a past framework seeing uh, uh, every person as a vessel for the pure energy opens you up to receiving different versions of that person. Now, of course, it depends on what that person's practicing or continues to practice, right? But as you do your energy work and, and have love and compassion and, uh, you know, then you can receive a different version of that person. But also, I think setting healthy boundaries early on is very important because Libra energy sometimes doesn't speak up to keep the peace. So it's like now I feel like you want to speak up, and uh, but maintain healthy boundaries. Okay, what is comfortable to you, right? Okay, and I feel like you want to get return, get back to your integrity here. Okay, so here's protecting your future. And for some of you, this is wanting to protect your family dynamic, your children, right? Okay, and uh, dragon is kind of fiery and watery too sometimes. So it's like, it's kind of represented in the cards here like that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So there's a union here, okay? So, but you have to be clear in your energy. Who is it that I really want to be with? That's the question I feel like. And there needs to be more soul searching there. Okay, so this is a deep connection. Ooh, okay. Okay. This could be a past life person or someone you've made a soul contract with. And I always say, that's not set in stone. You can always change your mind. Sacred contract, covenant, so... This is what you, I feel like, is calling for. Discern the difference between your ego self and your soul, the big soul picture, okay? And separate the two um, and then kind of dissect that. Is this my ego talking or is this me, like the true me, the authentic me? Okay, and as you close out the chatter, 
from the outside influence, then you'll really be able to figure it out. Okay, now during this transitional period, I feel like it is calling for gathering around the power of community. So I feel like these people, it could be family members, uh, are coming to your aid to be supportive in any way possible. So I feel like you have the support that's necessary in friendships and whatnot. Or perhaps for you, this is nature supporting you. Okay, for some people. Some Librans live way out. <laughs> it's nice. Okay, um, so uh, just know that your non-physical energy is supporting you too. That's very important. And as you learn how to decide, is this my ego self uh, talking? Is it because I have, do I have a true authentic self-worth image? That's the question, because if you feel like your self-image is not low, is low, and then you might compensate it in the outside, like doing things to feel worthy, or like, um, to feel uh, uplift self in that way, in which is um, a finite in experience, so... Um, take a look into that, and then uh, meanwhile, have a good time, I feel like, with your children, and being present in the moment, not being lost in a zone, and not connecting in your present moment, so that you don't, um, so that you can enjoy everything that your children, or uh, the nature, or non-physical energy is uh, giving to you in each moment so you can be awake to that and um, so there's a message of here of being present in the now and I leave you with that